Hey everybody, welcome back to the video side of Linux for Everyone, and welcome home. So, I just took Solus 4.1, Manjaro, and Linux Mint Cinnamon for a test drive, and I didn't even have to install anything. I didn't have to download anything. I didn't even have to fire up a virtual machine. Those Linux distributions and about 260 more are available to test drive right now from your browser. Let me show you how. So in my last video, I told you all about LibreHunt.org, a great little website to help you kind of narrow down what distro might work for you. So let's build on that. Let's say you have a distribution in mind and you think, ah, this looks really cool and it kind of fits my needs, but I just want to spend a few minutes with it without having to download it or install it. Problem solved. The site is called distrotest.net, and it currently lets you try out multiple versions of more than 260 Linux distributions. Basically, you browse for the Linux distribution you want to test, and you can also filter the site by the very latest releases, although I'm not sure that's quite reliable because Hannah Montana still shows up for some reason, and then you click start. This is the equivalent of booting up the live ISO or installer image and then having it streamed to your browser. Any browser, even the one on your phone. I found I only needed to wait a few seconds for each distribution to load, and occasionally you may enter a short queue, and that's to manage the server side's bandwidth load. Then you'll have between 15 and 30 minutes to play around, and you can extend that time if you need more. So you can get some practice tweaking configuration files, partitioning drives, or just exploring the look and feel of the distro you're interested in. And once you shut it down, the system is wiped clean. Now, unfortunately, they've recently removed internet connectivity from your test drive because apparently people will be people and uh, we're doing some forbidden things. Admittedly, you're, you're going to have a faster and much smoother experience running these locally on your own hardware or from running the downloaded ISO on something like VirtualBox or GNOME boxes. But first impressions are everything, and DistroTest is a really brilliant way to acquire that first impression and save some time. Thank you for checking out this video, and if you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please consider subscribing and ring that bell so you can get notifications for all upcoming videos and episodes of the podcast right here under one roof. I'll see you very soon for another video, and until we chat again, take care and take care of each other.